the DC defenders are back here in DC. The fans are obviously back. This guy wanted to give me a kiss. But you know what? Three of the owners of the XFL were here in DC, including Dwayne The Rock Johnson. How would you describe the, the impact, the energy here, seeing the XFL coming back? Electric. I would say that we were just talking about this, the three of us about you know how electrifying the games have been. But then to come to DC night game, I mean, you look at this stadium, the energy here in this stadium, and this is all this you know the in a way the players are new, so you know it, everything is brand new. But these the fans have come out, and I also think it's just a reflection of the kind of game, and not only that, but then the quality and the product that the players and the coaches are putting on the field. What was it about D.C. and why you wanted to make sure that XFL team stayed here? Well, we had looked at a lot of markets uh, across the board and, you know, you, you run tests, you dig deep, you see what makes sense. But the passion was already here for teams. And this has been, and, and personally, because I'm an unbiased owner, <laughs> okay. uh, but every time I have come and we have come here to D.C., uh, the, the memories have been incredible. And I'm talking about back in my wrestling days. I'll give you further than that. Before I got to WWE, we would travel up here and wrestle in these little venues where no one was here. So it just meant something. It's like deeper. So now the DC Defenders will travel to Las Vegas for their next game, but then they return here to DC March 5th to take on St. Louis. Reporting from out in field, I'm Darren Haynes, W, USA 9 Sports.